All right, Wayne Allen Root with Bill O'Reilly. I had a chance to uh, hang out with Bill on Friday at the Talkers Conference in New York City. It was great to see you, Bill. How are you? Good, Wayne. Nice to see you in the uh, Big Apple. And, uh, you know, I wrote a column uh, Wednesday night before I left for New York, and it appeared in Sunday's newspapers around the country. And I said Trump was going to win with his tariff threat against Mexico, and they would buckle under literally within days. It appears to me that's exactly what happened. Do you think Trump got a good deal? I think he did, assuming that everything he's saying is true, that he got a good deal and the tariffs worked. What, do you, what say you? Well, first of all, I think Mexico City caved after your column came out. They, they read it. <laughs> and they said, hey, Wayne, you exactly. know, uh, we're not going up against Wayne. Uh, second of all, <laughs> the the overarch on the story is interesting because the New York Times, Nancy Pelosi and Senator Schumer don't want Donald Trump to get any credit for the Mexican government helping to stop the flow of migrants to America. They, that's the overarch. Now, whether it works or not, nobody knows. Mexico could say it's going to do something and not do it. Certainly, they've done that in the past. Mexico is a weak, corrupt country. To me, they can easily seal that border with Guatemala. There are only 10 checkpoints. 6,000 military should be able to do it. Whether they do it or not, I don't know. Um, the right. uh, other aspect of it, the other aspect of it is Mexico will accept then the asylum seekers to stay there, not in the United States, while their case is being adjudicated. That is a good big thing. So I yes. don't understand the objections and why the far left is trying to make Trump look bad. And there's another good big thing. We just don't know what it is yet. Trump tweeted out that there's another part of this deal that will be announced soon, but has not been announced yet. And the rumor is, I don't know if you heard the same rumor, the rumor is it's what I heard last week, that Trump was going to do an executive order that you can't come through Mexico to get to the United States. You have to wait in your home country of origin. Have you heard that being, uh, that rumor that that is, in fact, the missing piece that has not been announced yet? I haven't heard that rumor, but it doesn't... It doesn't ring true because Mexico doesn't have to be involved with that at all. So uh, where, what the president okay. says is that there's another there's another big thing that we've done with Mexico. So Mexico wouldn't have to be involved with that executive order. So probably something else, but who knows? All right. Uh, the House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler now says there's some sort of deal with the Justice Department. The Justice Department is agreeing. Uh, to turn over some of the underlying evidence from the Mueller report. Uh, Nadler says his committee will now not hold Attorney General Barr in contempt of Congress. Do you think Barr blinked? Uh, maybe a little bit, but I think that the Attorney General knows he has Rod Rosenstein on his side. Rosenstein said publicly that he would have done the same thing that Barr did. That takes the far left bars, you know, being bribed by Trump or whatever crazy thing they're saying off the table. I don't think there's any downside to the attorney general letting uh, the Congress people see what evidence uh, Mueller put together. I'm, so, you know, I don't think it's that big a deal. All right. Last question of the day. Iowa, there was a Democrat presidential poll over the weekend and nine of the candidates polled at zero. And by the way, one of them literally got zero votes. I believe there were like 600 people polled and only one candidate, Bill de Blasio, right out your way in New York City, literally got zero, not zero percent, zero votes. The only candidate to get a big uh, goose egg. Isn't it time for these people to stop embarrassing themselves? Shouldn't they drop out uh, before they make themselves look even more foolish and waste a lot of money? Well, it's good for Republicans. I mean, I'm not a Republican. I'm an independent. Depends where you're coming from. So the Republican Party loves all this. You know, 24 candidates running against Trump. Half of them have no chance. <laughs> uh, half of them don't know anything. So the Republicans love that kind of chaos. So for them, they go, hey, we want more. Go ahead and bring us more. If you're a Democrat, I think you understand there's only one viable candidate in the race right now, and that's Biden. So all the others have so much downside. That could change. 
I mean, certainly uh, Barack Obama came out of nowhere, but the senator, the senator Obama, didn't have a big downside. His downside was he didn't really vote a lot. He voted present. He didn't take a lot of chances, okay? But there wasn't a lot of downside. All of these other Democratic candidates, if you look at them, they have major downsides to them. So uh, the Democrats, I think, got to be a little worried right now. All right. As always, excellent insights and wisdom from the great one, Bill O'Reilly. Uh, you can find more, by the way, at BillOReilly.com. BillOReilly.com. Bill, have yourself a great one and stay out of that mess in Midtown Manhattan with that helicopter crash. Okay, Tough day Wayne. today in New I York did. City. Just a fast plug. Father's Day coming up on Sunday. Give Dad a BillOReilly.com premium or concierge membership. He'll, he'll be thrilled with it, and then you'll be a good person for doing it. <laughs> hopefully my, hopefully my two sons, 15 and 19, are listening. My sons are listening. Get it for Dad. All right. Thanks, Bill. Okay.